Welcome to Tiny Newswire. This is the news of the week. The American Dental Association is collaborating with CVS Pharmacies in a three-year initiative that will provide the ADA a continuous in-store and online presence with CVS customers. Through the initiative, the ADA will receive premium placement and promotion of dental care products that have received the ADA's seal of acceptance. Consumers visiting CVS stores will also receive credible oral health information and they'll be encouraged to visit their local dentist using the ADA's Find a Dentist online application. CVS has 7,900 retail locations nationwide. In new product news, Diadent of British Columbia, Canada has released a new nickel titanium rotary file system. The Dia X rotary file system has a progressive tapered design and an 11 millimeter handle. The files have been heat treated to provide an increased resistance to cyclic fatigue. Their convex triangular cross section also reduces rotational friction and contact with canal walls for additional safety. Ivaclar Vivaden of Amherst, New York released the Programil 1 milling machine, a compact five axis milling machine designed to mill aesthetic IPS Emacs restorations. The mill has an integrated camera which automatically records all data related to material and tool use. The program mill one is also wireless and can be controlled using an integrated app in your smartphone or tablet computer. The program mill one features auto connection capabilities with intraoral scanning partners that include the three shape trios. And finally, in dental history news this week, we join with the PGA of America in recognizing Dr. George Grant as the original inventor of the golf tee. Dr. Grant graduated from Harvard Dental School with honors in 1870. With the problem-solving mind of a dentist, he developed a wooden spike with a flexible head for the ball and received a patent for his golf tee invention on December the 12th of 1899. Dr. Grant later died in 1910. It wasn't until 1920 that another dentist, Dr. William Lowell of Maplewood, New Jersey, developed his version of the golf tee using white birch wood, and he called it the Ready Tee. His product became a commercial success with the help of Walter Hagen in 1922. Dr. Lowell did not receive a patent, though, for his version until 1928. That's the news. Continue the conversation online at dentaltown.com. Content provided by... You know, they say love is blind. And for this Valentine's Day, I'm gonna make my card blindfolded. And it's really just like you did when you were in grade school. You take a sheet of paper and you fold it in half and you get your scissors and then you cut the heart. Red pen. Happy Valentine's Day.